He was so hard to catch, I'm gonna net him. All right, guys, I'm sitting on a, a little spot with some crappie on it. And I've been here, and Adam, this is the third bait I've fished where I caught one of them. You don't hear me say that right often. Sometimes it's like finding something they're interested in when they're not wanting to bite. Now, you know, fall's a great time to fish, but the water temperature dropped from 73 to 67. Yeah. <laughs> Until this water temperature gets where it slows down that fast drop, he's a good fat one. That's a good fish. He's probably he's probably ten and a half. That's a willow tail. Now, when that until that water stops that fast drop, the fish will pick up. I think when it drops that fast, it was 39 last night. <laughs> yeah, and see the night before last it was 50. Yeah, but it was 39 last night. That was a fast drop. Last time I was out was uh, this is uh, Tuesday. Last time I was out was was Saturday. And Saturday it was 73. So yeah. And it was nice Sunday, so I know it didn't drop much, so it didn't get that cold Saturday night. And uh, it was only like 50 degrees. And Sunday night was like, I say, 50 degrees. Last night was 39, 40. And when I got up, it was 40. <laughs> and that was, uh, when I looked, that was like 10 minutes to 6 this morning. It was 40. Uh, so, yeah, when it gets that cold, guys, that water drops pretty fast. It knocks the bite a little bit. Now, I think as the day goes on, I don't have time to fish all day. I got some things I got to get done today. One thing is I'm going to town. I'm going, I got to go to town. I'm going to buy another battery for this GoPro I'm wearing. I lost one battery. It broke. If y'all remember me telling it, the, the camera locked up and the battery swole up. I couldn't get it out. I had to put it in the refrigerator. You know, things shrink when they get cold, right? I put it in the refrigerator and cooled it down. That's how I got the battery. And the battery fell apart when I pulled it out. It just fell apart. So I'm down to three batteries. And when I fished Saturday, uh, I, I used all three batteries. And I had to use the power pack to finish today. So, yeah, I need another battery. Maybe two, I might just go ahead and get two more batteries. But power pack's fine, but once you plug the power pack in the back of the camera, I can't pull it back like I got it now. It leans it forward like this. So I got to lean back when I'm talking to y'all. So, moving the camera gently again. All right, guys, so let me, let me see if I can catch another one here. They are very finicky today. They want to follow. Look, these are black crappy. Now, I'm going to add one more thing. When you listen to Crap Connection with their guests on there and they've been talking, that got to be tonight, guys. Y'all never watch. It comes on 8 o'clock Tuesday night, uh, uh, Eastern Time. And uh, they talk about a lot, a lot of the guys that have on there talk about catching crappie. And every one of them comes on there and says, oh, I'd rather fish for white crappie any day. Black crappie are stubborn. They don't want to bite. They don't want to peck at your bait. They want to lick it. All we have is black crappie. Very few. I think I've caught two white crappie here this year. We have a few here. They just don't do well. Now, I go to Curl Lake, I catch white crappie. But they don't do well for some reason. I think the water gets too clear for them here, I think. They say white crappie likes dirtier water. Our water's a little dirty right now because of because, uh, the first hurricane. The visibility is about a foot. And that's because of our first hurricane come through. The water finally got here last last Friday. But it's got to come down from the mountains, through the streams, through, through the Dan River, through the Stanton River, into Curl Lake. Curl Lake's 50,000 acres. got to run through Curl Lake, and it gets here. <laughs> yeah. So it took a little while, because we didn't have much rain, guys. We had about four inches. Let's see if it's a crappy this time. Next cast. Guys, it's not easy to catch today. I said, this willow tail is kind of lazy. It's got that tail that kind of just floats. That's why I went to it. When they want to be hard to bite, I tried the fathead minna, and they would chase it and bump it. They didn't want to grab it. You know, usually go to a smaller bait when it's like that, and I tried that. And... Uh, Oops. All right, he shook it out at the boat, that's fine. Had it in his, had it in that skinny part right there. See the hole? That's a good fish, guys. Bam. This color's called candy. Here y'all can see it. He's probably, he's not 12, he's 11 and a half. Something like that. I'll take them all day like that. Especially if you can keep something to eat, There's that's the size that uh, you want to keep, right? If you want to keep something to eat. But they're right up, way up under there. The lake's down about six inches, so I got a huge opening there today. That opening's probably 18 inches. All right, trolling motor. Now, I hadn't done that for a long time. Took off hard. 
Sam adjusted it. It's been doing good since then. It's the first time it's done that. I don't know why it done that. Must have lost the signal, but the speed that it takes it off and moves, guys, is adjustable for the size of your boat. And Sam set mine up. I think it's got three choices on it or something. I couldn't figure it out. He done. I'm not good with electronics. People ask me, Dennis, make a video about your death finder. You don't want me to do that. I do have a better picture since I updated. He's about, he's probably right at 10. Uh, I do have a little bit better picture than since I updated. I watched the Goblin Guru. I done watched that video three times, I think. Whoa! The other thing is, don't trust Spotlock. Um, I know this is backing me up. It's trying to find that spot where I locked it. The uh, Garmin Guru has a new video out on this 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 uh, last update. It's 3601 or 3602. It came out on October the 2nd, guys. And I've been showing you all my videos. I've been working on it. I've got a better picture. There's some, look here, some fish out here. It takes, time, it takes uh, spells, and it works perfect. The bottom don't carry on. The bottom don't go up. I'm going like, got it fixed. <laughs> then the next thing you know, I'll turn it, and the bottom goes up. Well, he said that it's not working for everybody. And people in the comments were saying, it worked for me. He said, back me up again. It worked for me, but it didn't, you know. And other people were saying, it didn't work for me. My, mine's still messed up. Well, mine's up and down. It works for a while, then it quits. So I don't know how to take that. But uh, there you go. Uh, also, he, he, of course, I showed you all this before. You can go through it and hit flipped, okay? And you can change the bottom pitch. Where it says pitch, you can change the bottom pitch. And he said that's all he's been doing is just adjusting the bottom pitch. Well, that's what I was doing before I got the new update. But I have to say, it, it did help mine some. It's a perfect no, but it helped it some. I have a better picture. It changed other things on it, the way you cut it off. I used to hit this button to cut it off and pop right up here above and say, uh, you want to cut it off and hit it off again, it cut off. Now it's at the top. Uh, so I noticed there were some things that changed. Now, I haven't calibrated it yet. So, I, I thought I might just try to do that today, see if that helps it. He says sometimes he tried to calibrate his in the video and it wouldn't calibrate. So, there you go. Appreciate, appreciate y'all guys that have asked me about it. And uh, some of you, sometimes uh, I've been running a few people, especially local people that watch the channel. A couple of them have made comments about it, to things to try. So, uh, the Garmin Guru, if you haven't watched his channel, if you've got a live scope, you've got a Garmin live scope, He's got oodles of stuff on everything. He tries to help you. And he gives seminars on him. He pretty well knows that depth finder. And he's pretty sharp on it. Bam. I haven't fished this spot for a long time and caught anything here. But it's, it's a little piece of brush here. Uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago and, and just checked it out. And there wasn't nothing on it. Come back today, and it looked look like it was two or three fish. That's it. That's on it. But it's an old tree that fell in the water. You can see the divot in the bank up there when the grass dip, and then above it's a stump. So through time, some different trees have fell off the bank here into the water. I think I remember seeing this tree laying here one time when I come by in the water. And what they done was they cut off what they could for firewood. There it came. Switch colors on y'all. I cut one off that dock, but it's behind me. Uh, about 20 there, way up under the pond, uh, under the jet ski. Very hard to get to. Probably one of the nicest fish I've caught today. He's probably right right at 12 inches, I'd say. He's probably 11 three quarters. Good fish. All right, this is the pumpkin seed color. I call it sunrise. Because, look, the earth and the sun coming up. Get it? Brown. Yeah, that's why I call it sunrise. Guys, I have a name now. If you buy it by itself uh, in, in the Tadpole Junior, Tweety Bird, of course, a solid color without a tail, okay, uh, it's wipe out. That's right. It's just pumpkin seed, guys. Just pumpkin seed color. So now we fish with candy and we're fishing with uh, Sunrise, all right, which is pumpkin seed. You can see it right here. See, it's just a couple of fish and just a little piece of brush. And I had to get pretty close to see my bait and keep them getting in it because if you're not careful, because I have fished just a few times in spring, I fish it. If you're not careful, all you do is lose your bait. you got to get pretty close to it. This is where a long rod would have been good. I don't have mine on the boat today. I don't see my bait. I'm going to reel it in. Now look, 
Uh, I hit the brush. See, I got on the brush that time. I don't want to get hung up. <laughs> you know why it's so hard to see your bait? The cone is very small that, that distance. Y'all know that this thing, the uh, live scope, reads in a cone. Now here comes some school of crappy in. Look. Oh, go ahead. Go on, stop her. That's what I'm talking about. Sit, sit still a minute. Give me a chance at you. All right, guys. I'm going to cut some of it out. That was about 10 or 12 pitches before I caught one. I'm not going to leave all that in there. I showed you what I was doing, and I'm going to show you me catching the fish. But a school came in there. I'll show you that. A school came in there while I was throwing at them. And uh, these crappy are moving a lot this time of year. You can go ahead and find them one spot in the morning, come back later on, and they're not there. That's because they're moving a lot, okay? Wow. He's not hooked that bad. But what I'm trying to show you in this video is just some of the uh, willow tail colors I have. I loaded the one on the willow tails the uh, other week, and I'm coming. He's he's not ten, guys. He's he's under ten. He's he's about nine, and I think he's probably nine and nine sixteenths. Okay, it's called again. It's called sunrise. We got a little color to the water. It's a good time to use the tail color. All right, guys. I just got my camera on. I had it off. I changed the batteries. I change batteries. I don't cut it on till I catch a fish. Unless I'm in somewhere where I'm just whipping them. <laughs> Putting the whooping on them. It ain't today. These guys, about mm, 100 yards over there, 90. I think they're fishing minutes. Got a whisper. Like you're playing golf. He's about 9 inches. Sunrise. There's a few on this dock. Uh, I know they're still using long poles and floats. The only bad thing about on this lake, they're fishing down trees and stuff. They're starting to move the stuff like that. In the next couple of weeks, you'll be able to fish down trees, stumps in the shallow water. Fish will start moving to more open water because the water's cooling off and they don't need the protection of the dock. But still, right now, there's still a lot of them on docks. I'm watching open water. You see, I cut that last one off that brush. Some came in, or the eyes, they didn't stay long. I threw it back a couple times and then I got hung up in it. <laughs> yeah, that done it in. I got hung up in it. It was just a, just a top of a tree, and there ain't much left of it anymore. It fell down years ago. I, I remember when it, when it was. It was probably 10 years ago. Get off the post. Yeah, some of y'all probably wonder how I get by a two-pound test and not getting it broke, don't you? <laughs> I'm still using two-pound test. I use this rod all the time, guys. I know it's, I've got rods at home. I finally took them off the boat. I got five crappy rods. And uh, I've got a long rod in the in the in this rod box here. And I got some bass rods in there that I haven't had out this year. <laughs> I get the crappy fishing sometimes. Just don't get back into bass fishing. Sometimes I get with somebody that likes to bass fish, and they don't really want a crappy fish. We'll come out and bass fish, but I ain't very often. He's about nine, and he's probably right at ten. He's about nine, eleven, sixteenths. Bam. All right. Well, those guys finally left. That was minnow fishing. They just now left. You still see the wake coming this way. They, got, they had a small, about a 16-foot boat. Nice little rig. They like had, a, had a steering wheel, though. That bait fell out of his mouth. That's why when you set the hook, you keep reeling. <laughs> right? When you set the hook, you keep reeling. You keep that pressure on. There you go. He's right at, I'm saying he's... Not quite 10 either. He's about 10 and 9 and 3 quarter. That's okay. All right, guys. Bam, found another one. They're way back in there. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. How yeah, fat they are. My goodness. One old sunrise. Damn, I guess it's well, you pay the same size. You bet the same size, about nine inches. Next cast, guys. So they like this color. This color. Oh, I found a school of fish at 
just stay interested. That's that's two th one of two things, right? All right, guys, I might make a couple more casks. I've got to run to town today, as I said earlier. I got I called Medicine NB Field. And, uh, I'm on blood pressure medicine. Just uh, trying to keep my blood pressure down. Catching fish helps me. Though. That helps drop it some. <laughs> But I need to go pick that up and I'll get me some batteries at Walmart while I'm there. A couple things like that. So I'm going to end it right there. This is just about a couple of the colors in the Willow Tail, the Sunrise and the Candy Color. They're tail colors. They're in the tail section. Also, there's tw uh, Tweety Bird. Oh, no, excuse me. Start over. There are Tadpole Juniors and Flukes in that same series. That's the only base I put in the tail colors. All right. So there you go. Probably down the road, once they sell out, probably one of them will do is the willow tails. The tadpole juniors and the flukes sell once in a while. I've been saying this a lot, and some if it's certain colors y'all like in some of these baits, the odd colors I don't sell, I uh, can't tell which ones they are right now off the top of my head, I'm going to put them on sale. Uh, probably going to start sometime in November, and I'm going to put some of the sales, of some of the colors that's not selling fast or good that I'm not going to make again on sale. So you all keep up with me. It might be something that you really like. You might want to buy three or four bags of it if it's something that you have good luck with, all right? Because uh, they're not selling. And I've got over 80 colors, and I've got 20 body shapes. So I've been in the shop the last couple days uh, just keeping up with the colors that are selling good. And, and that's the main thing. We're going to take the colors that sell good, and we're going to get the LC Shad right now. I don't know how many colors I've got in it, guys. And I have a couple new ones I'm going to add, but we're going to give it about 10 colors. I'm going to add about six uh, new colors and then the tadpole junior and some of those and then in these tail colors the willow tails sell great I looked at my site last night and I've sold in the last couple weeks guys I've had 20 orders in the last four or five days but the willow tails are second or third in line of the big most selling baits that I've sold the most of uh, this month yeah that's hard to believe in it because I know a lot of y'all have never ordered a willow tail but I said this before, there are some people that have found out uh, a technique that they're using it on and catching fish with it. I'm just trying to show you it does catch fish. All right, guys, appreciate y'all. Dennis, see you next time. Fishing Lake Country.